I'm Stone Gray Phillips. Welcome to Minecraft. Let's finish our lumberjacking. Well, let's go to the mine. There is some iron and coal there. We can go over mining tips and strategies. And By the way, I am using DokuCraft Dark in case you just don't know. Why you go mining? That's essential. You have to get your cobblestone and your iron and your coal and your diamond. But you know, there's some things you have to follow before you become a sufferer of the first world problems. Well, if you don't want to be a sufferer of the first world problems. Swagonistas and swagsters, you guys aren't retarded. You can pause this if you need to. Thanks. This is based off Minecraft common sense anyway. BTW. Thank you again. Summer 2011, there was a game called Terraria. It was a good game, but then all the Minecraft fanboys pointed out that the goals were the same, which is true. You mine for resources, you survive, kill enemies, build whatever you want to build. However, though, Terraria brought its own to the table. But the Minecrafter community did not see that edge, and they just started hating on this game. Now, you weak-minded lackeys are taking the swag out of Minecraft and the community. Please stop. Terraria is good in its own right. While it is a bit of a 2D Minecraft, it has its own respects. More mobs, a bit more adventurous, but since it's 2D, it lacks that like opportunity of creation capability. Please leave in the comments which one do you think is better and why. The fight is pointless, just made me want to facepalm myself. Why oh why? I understand hating on Fortress Craft, because now we've got Minecraft for Xbox. Screw you, Fortress Craft. Screw you. Vacation. I'm not saying vacation, I'm saying vacation. Like, ponification or MCification. Now, I don't really know why they started this at certain groups. Or certain communities because you might as well do a barbification or a terrariification but you have like minecraftification and they're having guys with doom skins and slenderman skins and other types of skins and they're making texture packs for skyrim i mean come on and then you have like ponification where they do like my little pony versions of like the Avengers, or like My Little Pony Fallout question. You don't see a Call of Duty Avengers, but you see a My Little Pony Avengers, or a My Little Pony at MW3. So please leave in the comments why you think this is like that. Like, you don't see the Halo community crossing over. At this point, you should know the basics of mining and how I mine, so let's speed this up. So you get to see the Minecrafting, in case you're one of those Minecraft tours. But then you get to speed things up, so it's a bit of a win-win. By the way, you want to get out these trenches when it's night because monsters will start spawning and a creeper might walk in and you're pretty much just screwed or if a couple skeletons and a zombie walks in you're screwed see if you have iron armor and maybe like a diamond sword with some bows or an arrow you're fine you just take that, e that out easily but in the state we are in we are screwed okay plus then getting back our materials will be real hard so let's just get home ASAP. Whoa, black shots. This is kind of creepy. Whoa. But cool at the same time. Texture glitch. Maybe. Maybe. So maybe we'll just chop down a couple trees, maybe. Maybe just one tree before we get home. I don't see any creatures out other than those black shucks. So let's get out. Whoa! Skeleton, go, 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 go! God, why? God, why? Get to the light. You gotta get to the light. So close, so close. Come on, let's just go in and close that dang door already. God, that moment traumatized me forever. Now let's review our achievements. Excuse the background noise, don't comment on that. My brother is playing Minecraft. And we have unlocked a whole lot of achievements. Come on, we only have like probably about half a dozen, maybe even five achievements we are yet to unlock. Now, there are some achievements you did not see me unlock because I was playing a custom map, so please excuse that. Thank you. Create a furnace room. What that does is you have a bunch of furnaces 
and you can burn everything slash cook everything much faster because you're doing it all at the same time. Now, let's make it. We just finished making our furnace room, we're going to pimp up our chest room, it's really just a hole with a chest in it, but let's go make some sand, we're going to really decorate our chest room, expand it, we practically finished our chest room, anyway, our furnace room is done, and as you can see, we're burning things twice as fast, we're making the job twice as efficient, time to pimp up our chest room, okay guys? Large chests might be a bit silly, but when one large chest is overflowing with smooth stone and cobblestone, let alone all the ore and like the materials you gathered, you'll be grateful we have several large chests. Now it's going to take a while to max all this out. Now put your valuable materials in your chest. If you die when you have valuable stuff in your inventory, you're going to lose it. If it's in your chest, it's going to remain. Okay, so we took out the floor underneath our chests. We're going to put a glass floor underneath that, and then it's going to be illuminated by torches, so it's going to be like a glowing floor almost. And that is how I decorate it. It's, it looks real great in Dokercraft, especially in high or light. Ladies and gentlemen, swagginistas and swagsters, we have finished our awesome storage room slash chest room. So let's clean up the edges, get rid of some. Ah, God, no! <sighs> Sand falls. It has to be aliens, or maybe a conspiracy of like mini alien nanobots. Hmm, I don't know. Let's go see the structure of a mountain, a mountain a little bit. Thanks for viewing this part. I know it's a bit short. I'm dearly sorry for that. I just had some compression issues. I should clear out all the bugs and issues for next part. Thank you. So we're going to see how much of a mountain is what. If it's like mostly stone, mostly dirt, some gravel, some sand. We're going to see that right now. As you can see, it's mostly dirt with no gravel or sand. I mean, there could be some sort of stone structure. Like maybe if you like destroyed all the dirt here. Maybe even like whatever gravel and sand you find here. Probably have like a already a uh, half pre made building. So let's penetrate this. God, that sounded wrong. So, as you can see, it's more stony as you get in. And let's just see if there's like some sort of like cave or like some deformity. I don't know. So, as you can see, it's almost like mine. Probably go in, there's just more stone. Oh, look! Ow, God, why am I taking damage? My hunger meter probably hit zero. See you guys later.